So at league finals this year, um, I got the 200 freestyle record with a 151. And um, before me, I think it was held by Jessica Hardy, Olympic swimmer. So Mm -hmm. yeah, that was really cool. Welcome to this episode of the hashtag proud to be LBUSD podcast. I'm your host, Shelby, and today I'm talking to Sammy Hamilton from Wilson High School. Sammy is a record-breaking swimmer on Wilson's varsity swim team, as well as an actress. We'll get to know about her lifestyle as an athlete, her experience on Wilson's swim team, and how she manages her busy schedule. Thank you for coming, Sammy. It's really nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. All right. Um, I'll just start off the questions by asking you kind of what got you into swimming. So tell me about what age you started. And I also know you've played some other sports in there. So what made you really stick with swim? So uh, I started swimming lessons when I was about three years old at Shore Aquatics in Long Beach. And um, I actually used to play softball. And um, I m- chose swimming as my, um, like I dedicated myself to swimming, I think, mm-hmm. after I quit softball in about middle school. And um, going into high school swim, um, it's a totally different environment. It's a really? totally different, it's a team sport, team community, and um, it's a really nice place to be, Wilson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What drew you to swimming over softball? I'm just curious. Yeah. Um, I think with softball, it's it's a team sport, but it's also, it's different from swim because swim's more, it's also, it's individual, but it's also, it's also a team sport. So you're getting both. Mm-hmm. And I think I like, I like both aspects of sports. So yeah, yeah. I can mm-hmm. see how swim, you kind of get more time to focus on yourself and stuff. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. cool. Awesome. So for those of us like me who are not super versed in competitive swimming, can you give us mm-hmm. some info about like what events you swim in, what those really are, and then also some of the recent milestones for Wilson's swim team? I know they've had a few. Yeah. So I swim the 200 free and 500 free, um, as well as both um, freestyle relays. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, we recently just um, got the more league title. So we've uh, lost for about five years, but we just got it back. And we worked really hard this season, I think, as a team. And I think getting to celebrate after that win, we just really realized like how much effort we needed to put in. And I think we're going to keep it going for the next couple of years. So. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's so cool when you have that bond with your team, like a winning year. Yeah. And I know there's also been a milestone for you about breaking a record. So will you tell us a little about that? Yeah, absolutely. So at league finals this year, um, I got the 200 freestyle record with a 151 and, um, before me, I think it was held by Jessica Hardy, Olympic swimmer. So mm-hmm. yeah, that was really cool. That is really awesome. Mm-hmm. And especially you being so young. So how did that, I mean, that's a huge accomplishment, you know, how did that feel? Was it kind of hard to process or did you work for it? Was that what you were going for or did it just happen? Um, I was definitely going for a specific time, but um, when I touched the wall and I looked up the scoreboard, I was, I didn't think I was, I didn't think I was going to do it. Like, I'll be honest, I didn't think I was going to do it, but I was really surprised. It was a really happy <laughs> moment um, to hear the whole team cheering and it was it was really good. Yeah, it was really fun. That's so cool. Mm. And I know you also swim with a club team, the Golden West Swim Club, outside of school. So you kind of talked about that team environment, but is it different swimming on a club team than with a high school team, like making friends or like skill-wise, anything like that? Yeah. So I think swimming um, high school and club, it's almost like two different sports because mm. at high school swimming, you're it's more of a team environment. Um, we're all working towards, did we beat the other team? Did we... That's the whole main focus of the swim meet. But at club right. meet, your only focus is your times, individual like individual mm. events, and that's the whole focus of it. And um, actually, I recently left Golden West Swim Club. I swim at oh, Nova. Really? I swim at Nova oh, Aquatics cool. of Irvine now. So yeah, awesome. Mm-hmm. And I also, I feel like you probably have more time to get to know the people on your school team. If I'm not wrong, yeah. have you? Um, are there any team activities or fun things you guys do? Yeah, absolutely. So this year we did. A bonding exercise where we all just went for a scavenger hunt at the beach and um i think it's a totally different environment in high school swim because um you know these are people that you're going to school with every day right so people that you talk to you eat lunch with um that's not something you get with club swimming so Mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's cool that you know you can like you said like everyone was cheering for you after you won that's an awesome moment like you get to be surrounded by your friends super cool Mm -hmm. and then uh, you kind of mentioned that but you said one is more kind of competition driven do you feel like you like being in both that you get to work on yourself with one and then work on a team with the other or do you what's what's your take on that yeah so um i think in club swimming it's it's totally individual um 
And when you get to high school swimming, I think a lot of people, a lot of people quit club swimming Mm -hmm. for high school swimming. But um, I like to do both and get the best of both because they're totally different things. But, Mm -hmm. you know, you can have fun with both of them. Right. And I'm sure a lot of the reasons why people quit is because that's a lot of things to do, like such a busy schedule you have. So Mm -hmm. how do you maintain that? Like with homework, with practices, extracurriculars, hobbies, things like that. What's What's that like for you? I'm sure yeah. it's busy. Yeah, it's definitely a, you have to find a balance with homework and with practices. Mm-hmm. But um, you, know, you just have to find that balance when you have a little extra free time, do a little bit of homework before practice, do a little after. But yeah, you know, find that balance. You got to stick with it. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. And when you can manage it, what do you spend your free time doing? What do you I know you're hard driven. Clearly, it's paid off in swimming. Yeah. But what do you do in your free time? Any fun stuff? Yeah. So I like to go on runs. I think it's it's peaceful but it's also beneficial because mm-hmm. um you know you're still working out and even if I had practice that day if I didn't have practice that day you know I like to go for runs I also like to read um mm-hmm. or write even if it's you know writing an essay for yeah. school. but yeah yeah it seems like you have such an intense lifestyle especially like with competition stuff mm-hmm. um and kind of a side note I want to ask you obviously you've had like some awesome wins recently which congratulations by the way thank you but I'm sure there are also times when things do not go as planned. So, I mean, especially with the team and things like that, you said that this is the first time in five years that you guys have won. How do you, like, handle when you don't win or things like that? Like, what is what is that like as opposed to that awesome feeling of winning? Mm-hmm. So last year, um, my freshman year at Wilson, we actually – we lost to Polly, mm-hmm. And that was really devastating, um, especially for me because it was my first year going in. I was like, oh, yeah, we're going to win. But right. um, I think going in um, – it was definitely a devastating moment at league finals. Um, I think it was close. Um, we didn't know whether we were going to win or not. We could have definitely pulled it off, but um, we didn't. And that was really, it was really a sad moment for us. But we know we had our work cut out for us and we knew what we were going to do. Yeah. And so we worked really hard this year. That's all we were really going for was <laughs> winning league finals. And um, I think everybody really worked together. And um, we had a plan going into league finals really? and we pulled it off and we won. And I think that's, um, it just shows how hard we worked and what we, put our mind towards yeah definitely and you can see that that was definitely motivation that feeling of just like oh Mm. so close and then you guys really pulled off that year that's awesome Mm -hmm. um going back to you being extremely busy i know you've also been in some movies and tv shows and may just mentioned you have an imdb page which is so cool (laughs) but tell me how you got into acting along with everything else that you do so um my mom is a stuntwoman an actor so i think when i was uh i was a little younger she got me into that and um, I really liked it, but I think now I'm more focused on swimming, um, especially competitions. And I'm just I'm so I'm so busy with swim <laughs> and working out all the time. Right. So I think that's my main fo- my main focus for now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So tell us, like, tell me what a stunt person does. I mean, obviously there mm-hmm. are many different types, but you specifically, I assume, was swimming stunts. So what what did that include? Like, um, yeah. So. I think I was, my first show was on the Goldbergs and I did a roller skating stunt where I had to um, fall just like flat on my back. And I was, I was young. I think I might've been like 11 or 12. And then I think the next show that I was on was actually more of a swimming stunt. It was um, on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, if you know that show. Mm -hmm. Um, And I had to go down a water slide and I think just like flip a couple times. But um, yeah, I mean, it's not all swimming, Mm -hmm. but yeah. I'm definitely, I'd say on a break for now from stunts, but yeah. Yeah, I'm sure, I, I don't know how you even manage your time right now, but that's really cool. You get to save in all those things, super mm-hmm. impressive. And then obviously you told me a little bit about your roles, but do you have a favorite from anything you've been in? Yeah, I think um, I think the Goldbergs, just because it was my first show and I was kind of like, I was kind of like, wow, this is really cool. Mm-hmm. So I got my own dressing room and it was just really fun. Yeah. Wow, that is fun. Mm-hmm. And I know that's, you kind of have some of those like awesome like wow moments like this is so cool like everyone mm-hmm. cheering for you and then being on that super cool um mm-hmm. okay so like before we wrap up i do want to ask you about your plans for the future i know you're only a sophomore which is like mind-blowing to me you've accomplished so much mm-hmm. um but you obviously still have two years of high school left so mm-hmm. do you have any idea what you want to do after graduation or any goals in the meantime i know that kind of seems like a long way away but it'll sneak up on you yeah so um, 2024 Olympic trials is definitely what I'm working towards right now. Wow. And, um, you know, different colleges will start, you know, I'll start deciding soon. Mm-hmm. And um, I just want to see where 
I can get to, especially after Olympic trials, see where that takes me. Right. And, you know, going through college, um, you know, the next Olympics will be 2024. So, you know, I'll see I'll see how far I get. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what do you do in preparation for that? Is that any different from just normal training? Um, I think training for high school and training for for club because you're mostly at at club swim, you're you're training for, you know, these big meets like Olympic trials mm -hmm. and you're training for, you know, to get to the Olympics. Um, but, you know, I'll be working out, you know, if, even if you miss a day or two, you know, you're, mm -hmm. you're off track. So it's definitely an everyday thing. It's, it's a process for sure. But, you know, I just got to work hard and try to get the best version of myself that I can be. Yeah, that consistency. I can't even imagine. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I'm sure you're going to have a lot of college offers pouring in. Do you have any idea of studying anything or like area where you want to go? Yeah. So I think I might want to major in psychology. Um, I'm not exactly sure yet, mm -hmm. um, but that is one of my interests for now. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, you got time to decide and I'm mm -hmm. sure you'll have some awesome offers. Well, I'm so glad I don't have to talk to you. Congratulations again. It was so you. nice to meet you. I'm sure you're going to have lots more moments like those that are just so fun to celebrate. And I wish mm -hmm. you the best of luck. Awesome. And, um, yeah. Thank you for trials. having me. Yeah. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.